I may or may not have had to just go watch one of my past videos for uh, exam one, going over these salt tank questions to even remember what the formula for this one is. But since in the end it's all integrating factor, I think we should be pretty good uh, once we get into the swing of things. The equation for this is dq dt plus r0 over v of t times q is equal to ri ci. Let's explain what all of these uh, terms mean. So q itself is uh, the concentration, not sorry, not the concentration, the total amount or, or mass of salt or whatever solute, sometimes they do pollution or whatever, uh, in our body of water. R0 is the rate at which that uh, material is entering our tank. Ri is the rate at which material is leaving our tank. And by material, I mean uh, uh, the, the, the fully mixed water. Uh, so not, not, you know, mass and salt or whatever. And then uh, Ci is the concentration that is entering our tank, the concentration of, um, in this case, salt, usually salt. And then V of T is just the expression for the volume uh, of the tank as a function of time. So let's set this up given our numbers uh, here. We have a tank with 40 gallons of water and initially we have uh, 10 pounds of salt so we can say that Q of 0 is equal to 10. That'll come in handy in a bit. So a salt solution containing one half pound of salt is running into the tank so that's our rate in, uh, one half pound per gallon, and it's uh, running in at a rate of four gallons per minute. So that's uh, that gives us two over there because that's our um, sorry, that's our constant, that's our rate in. The the one half is our concentration. Whoops. And uh, what else are we told? We're running out of the tank at two gallons per minute. So plus two over v of t. Q, and V of T, in our case, since we initially have 40 gallons of water, it's flowing into the tank at 4 gallons per minute and flowing out at 2 gallons per minute. Each minute, we are gaining 2 gallons of water uh, in our tank, so hopefully that 40 plus 2T makes a little bit of sense. For every T minute, uh, we, we gain 2 gallons. So we're going, we're going to apply uh, the integrating factor method for solving all of these. We see that P of T is equal to 2 over 40 plus 2T, or we can just say 1 over 20 plus T. And so rho of T, our integrating factor, is e to the integral of 1 over 20 plus T dT. This gives us ln ln 20 plus t, like that. And uh, because we have e to the ln, we can just write whatever's in that natural log, so 20 plus t is our integrating factor. We can say that q is equal to 1 over our integrating factor, multiplied by the integral of rho of t, 20 plus t, multiplied by uh, our right hand side over here which is just 2 dt so we get 40 plus 2t in that integral this integral evaluates to 40t plus t squared 40t plus t squared plus c since we know that q at 0 is equal to 10 we can say that uh, 10 is equal to 1 over 20 uh, multiplied by c, because both of these terms will go to zero, and so c is equal to 200, plus 200 uh, in there. And then finally, we're finding y at 20. So q at 20, uh, we're using q here. A lot of the questions tend to use q. I'm not really sure why this one uh, is using y instead. This is equal to one over 40 times uh, 40 times 20, which is 800 plus 20 squared, which is 400 plus 
200, so 800 plus 600 is 1400. 1400 over 40, uh, 140 over 4 is 70 over 2, which is 35. And I remember from practicing this exam over and over uh, that that is, in fact, our correct answer. Okay, question 4, same old thing, except all we're doing here is expressing uh, it in equation form. We don't actually have to solve. So writing, writing everything out, we know we want dq over dt plus r0 over v of t q is equal to r i c i and let's replace these so da -da -da, um, water containing 0.3 kilograms of salt per liter is entering at a rate of two liters per minute so on uh, this side our rate in will be uh, two and our concentration in is 0.3 so we get 0.6 over here. Our rate out is one liter per minute and since we start with 500 uh, liters of pure water and uh, things are flowing in at two liters per minute and out at, at a rate of one liter per minute, we're gaining one liter uh, every minute, every unit T. So that should be uh, that. We can see that dq dt is equal to 0.6 minus 1 over 500 plus t q. And looking around for that, uh, I see it right over there. Uh, same thing, and actually this is the last one I have on here, um, although you can definitely expect to see one of these on the final. Uh, they, they do like these questions. So initially we have a tank with 100 liters of water with 10 kilograms of sugar in solution. Ooh, they're really switching it up on us. So dq dt plus uh, rate out. Where's our, where's our rate out? Rate out of 5 liters per minute and a rate in of uh, 2 liters per minute. So we have 100 minus 3t down here because uh, 2 in, 5 out, 100 to start with. We're losing 3 liters every minute times Q is equal to uh, R I C I where our rate where our rate in is two and our concentration ooh varies with time isn't that fun two plus cosine three T uh, like that so if we subtract this guy over what will we be left with uh, over here well we know that we want two cosine not two sine so those can get out of there that one's not multiplied by two and this one isn't accounting for the changing volume so uh, there we go and uh, that's that's it and it's actually okay that there aren't more questions for this because really the practice that you need for these is knowing the formula being able to drill it into your brain and uh, knowing how to do integrating factor and whenever you can do both of those you can, uh, you know, move on. <laughs>